<laughs> like, yeah, no, yeah, it's for real. It's just like, no, fuck that guy. Like, you know? And, like, they'll be like, and, like, raise you, like, I remember one time specifically, Michael was talking about a fan, and he didn't, he didn't say any names or anything. And, like, Ray was like, um, uh, he said something like, uh, you probably shouldn't talk about it like that. And he's just like, no, man, fuck that guy. And Ray was like, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to, back to, uh, Paul Paris. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on. What, what, yeah, you, yeah. Can, can, Lucas didn't finish the point. Thing. Of what? Or did you? Of what? Like, you said, like, you Oh, yeah, yeah, stuff. So, like, I want to try, but it's so hard because, like, the, the famous get more famous. And, like, you see that, especially with, like, PewDiePie. PewDiePie's channel is the most subscribed to, and it's up... In the world. It's about 26 million right now. I remember a few months ago, 10 million was like, oh, shit, oh, shit, they're gonna make it, they're gonna hit 10 million, and now it's just like, ah, it doesn't even matter. Everybody who has YouTube is, like, almost automatically subscribed to PewDiePie, because it's like, whenever you start a YouTube account, it's like three channels. It like, recommends you. It recommends, it recommends three channels, and literally every single time, PewDiePie is one of the three. And, like, this is, like, even when I started, like, when I first got on YouTube, which was, like, 2009? When I, I just, first, when I got just a like, YouTube channel. I first got on YouTube, like, in 2007. Yeah, so, like, you, st- like, well, I don't know how it was in 2007, because, like, those big YouTubers weren't established by that point. But, yeah, like, by, well, like, Smosh was. Like, what's weird is, Smosh like. Smosh was one of the really popular ones. With, with Smosh, started. with Smosh, it was weird, because they started off with, like, five videos that were just them lip-syncing, like, their favorite theme songs and, like, randomly because, dancing to because, it. Because, like, there wasn't, like, a necessarily a thing of, like, a good video. Yeah. There was just stuff that was entertaining. Yeah, and, like, people would find that and be like, ha, that's fucking stupid and awesome. I like this. And, like, so they, they would like it and, like, subscribe to them. And then it's just like, okay, cool. Like, we've established some fans. Let's try doing some sketch comedy. And so they would do sketch comedy. It was just, like, tear Like, stuff that, like, almost stuff like, uh... I just want to say, like, on my YouTube channel, you might not see it, and I haven't uploaded any of it, but, like, I've done videos, I think, of better quality than some of the early Smosh. Some of the early Smosh. Like, stuff that's, like, lesser quality than Iscari. <laughs> you see, I don't want to say that. No? <laughs> East, like, in Iscari, like, that's, like, a, I'll be honest. Your, that video is terrible. It's a fucking... No, no. I, I, you did it I, to make fun of like that, right? When I first made it, I like I did it like... I want to make like, like like a little stupid horror movie intentionally like just the crappiest thing because we're obviously not going to make a good video. Yeah. So let's intentionally make it crappy. And like I still find the joke kind of re- relevant, but I watch it now and I'm like, no, I just don't like this. Yeah, it's just I like... I just don't want to see it now. Yeah. I hate it. But like stuff Which like... Which is why it's... Their early thing. stuff is almost like worse than that. There is one early Smosh video that really makes me laugh. Um, It's where like... uh. Ian is home alone, and then, like, Anthony shows up with an axe, and he just goes full-on paranoid, and tries to call the police, and, like, he hides. Like, my favorite sequence is when he hides, like, he goes underneath his desk, and he puts, like, like the two desk chairs up to him, and, like, you see him, you see, like, Anthony walk in, with yeah. dramatic music, and he cuts to, like, the like, point of view of Ian, and he's like, oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god, it's gonna fuck me. And, like, that part just makes you laugh, and then, like, and, like, it just keeps coming, be- be- it just keeps coming back to, like, Anthony looking around the room, suspenseful music, and then Ian underneath is like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And then it cuts to Anthony, kind of looks down. You just see, like, Ian, like, obviously in the worst hiding place. Yeah. But not, like, obviously. But it's, like, like Anthony looks down, you just see his face in the shadow. And it just makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. That one shot just makes me laugh. Yeah. And the joke is, like, dude, you called me this morning to return, asking me to return your axe to you. Oh. Yeah, here you go. Fucking idiot. He just <laughs> leaves. <laughs> it's like, okay. And, like, a lot of, like, Okay, Food Battle was first done in 2006. Like, okay, you said YouTube started in 2006. YouTube started in 2005. 2005? Okay. Yeah. I Actually, it was I think YouTube started um, farther back than that, like the name mm-hmm. brand of it started. No, no, no. No, I didn't. No, it's, cause, too, no cause, it's 2005. No, let's go back to that. Uh, there's a website that you can go back to as far as you want to. Uh-huh. To yeah. find out how No, I know what you're talking about, but YouTube, YouTube wasn't before. YouTube was YouTube was 2005. I want to know. Because I don't, I don't think... Can you show me... I want to know about these strangers like me. Wait, Tell wait, me how. Wait, wasn't YouTube like a gay or like, like no. a dating thing? No. Which one was that? Was yeah, that Google? Yeah, probably Yowie Tube. I don't fucking... What the fuck are you talking about? Tyler? What are you talking about? So anyway, Yowie, Shit. Yowie um, is Jap- gay Japanese Speaking anime. like, the thing about like niche stuff, like you're obviously not going to be like super popular. Like, obviously, even when you do niche stuff, you're not going to be like super big, but like, there's going to be that one person who's going to be like, I don't think anyone on the internet knows what this is, but let me just look up Repo Man 1984 real quick. And then there's a video like, oh, this guy did a review of it. Yeah. And then that's how, like, that's how, like, some people found, like, what was it? 
I guess some people found me like I guess they had problems with expansion pa- expansion packs on their N sixty fours. Yeah, and they're like expansion pack and it would go through like tutorials or stuff like that and, and like nothing would like couldn't find anything good like oh what is an expansion pack i don't even know and, and then, then they like, would end up on like mine and like i have mine titled like it would probably be like a video actually talking about expansion pack where it's just a clip of me and like let's people i thought com- it was titled why you know expansion yeah um why you know have expansion pack yeah and like i like people still comment on it it's like my most popular video because they're like it's like it's not even a minute long and it's, it's like a joke so is simple. relevant, yeah. And everyone's like, this happened to me five minutes ago. Yeah. So that means they got Majora's Master, Donkey Kong 64, tried to play it, said you need an expansion pack, went to YouTube, saw my video, saw that the exact same thing happened to them, and that's, yeah, that's why that video is like at 4,000 views now. Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah. Because I never plan on getting big on YouTube, like, at all. Yeah. At all. I mean, like, I, I kind of want to. Like, that'd be so cool. But, like, that's so far in the future, if anything. Or if even possible now. If even possible, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. I want to use the What? You're using the yeah, All right. Back. You guys keep going. All right. Um, so, so, yeah, like, that's just my point. Like, there's, it's just, like, hard to get famous on YouTube now. Because like, I can understand how, like, the popular users got popular because even when there wasn't, like, we suggest to you these channels, like, when I first got on YouTube, they were, like, the videos that, like, my friends were like, oh, there's this dude on YouTube called Niga Higa. And, like, the most popular YouTube YouTubers, it's pretty, it's obvious why they're popular because lots of people watch them. They are they always get recommended just by people themselves. And because they're, they're like, the type of stuff they talk about is kind of broad. Like, anyone can start watching them and be entertained by them. Yeah. Whereas in, like, after a while, like, I'm, like, like I unsubscribed, unsubscribed from Smosh maybe, like, a year or two ago. Yeah. Because at a certain point, I had a lot of subscriptions, and I'm, like, Smosh is, like, I'm not into Smosh. That's it's, completely, like... Like, I love Smosh sometimes. Like, they, they have the occasional, like, really good... They have occasional, like, pretty funny videos. Like, the things that they do now, though... Like, they used to, like, do, like, broad stuff that everybody could relate to. And it's like, this is the internet. Like, they embodied the internet almost. But just now, the crazy, stupid shit you could yeah, do on the internet. But now it's just, like, crazy, stupid shit because they have their... But then, the, like, it, it used to make sense when they were, like, 15. Yeah. And, like... Let's be honest, if you go back and watch videos of us trying to be funny, maybe from, like, 7th or 8th grade, we're fucking assholes. And we're annoying. <laughs> oh, you mean, like, this video, which is Jackson and Tyler doing a Halo toy review? See, somehow, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, like, kind of cringe at this, but, like, I'm kind of glad my, my toy review started off with an HD camera. Yeah, dude. And I had a planned, like, set list of what I do in each one of them. Now yeah. that it's not HD, I feel like, yeah, they can't, and like the the quality of the actual video kind of went down, which is disappointing. Yeah. But um, um, what was I gonna say? What was, where was I going with this? I don't know. Oh yeah, it was Smosh. Um, I, I some dude, um, this dude called PM Rance did like a video called the top ten YouTubers that everyone, top ten worst YouTubers that everyone watches. And his number ten was Smosh. I know Philip DeFranco was number one. Right? No, it was like number three. Number three? Ray William Johnson was number one. Oh, okay. Ray William well, Johnson was most subscribed at one point. Yeah. Like, his, his number ten was Smosh, and he said, there are only ten because, like, their, their occasional video is pretty funny, and they're like, their videos are technically well made and stuff like that. Which I feel like, I wouldn't, if I made a top ten you, worst YouTubers that everyone watches, I would probably wouldn't put Smosh in it. Because I really don't think they're the worst. Yeah. But um, he, did, he t- said this, like, Back when I was in back when I was in eighth grade, I really loved you guys because you were random and violent and loud. But now you're just random and violent and loud. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> like there's definitely been like I almost want to even though like their subscriber base goes up and their views go up, I feel like there's a decline in like percentage of people on the internet who care about Smosh still. Yeah, because when YouTube first came along and like Smosh was like one of the first like I mean there was internet stars before. But then YouTube made internet celebrities like pretty Pizza. big. Mm-hmm. Don't like take those. And like Smosh, people. like Smosh was like one of the first people to do that. Like just like these kids that made these dumb videos, and then like they got really popular. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about this? Huh? Do you have anything to say about this? About Smosh. Considering you're on YouTube. Just about YouTube. Uh, I mean, truthfully, if you don't have if you don't have the, if you don't have a high quality camera. Or I feel like if, it's not even necessarily. If you, if you don't, don't have like the worst bottom basement quality camera, but yeah. I feel like even just like uh, I mean, like at least a top shelf at Walmart, you'll get through with it. No, I feel like even just like a standard definition, like a, a, an SD camera that's like okay. People who go around and like legitimately try to film like 
stuff that would be considered scripted live action stuff that they expect to release on YouTube, don't film it with your phone. Good point. Like, I mean, like, it, like phones are good for vlogs or podcasts. Like, we're doing a podcast you right now. I, I, I hate the most. What? Is when they have their cell phone like this. Profile? Profile? And, videos? And of there's, this, there's this song called uh, Turn Your Phone. And it's basically a song about, like, you're a fucking idiot. You shouldn't be using phones. And, like, you shouldn't be on the internet. Just turn your phone. Please turn your phone. And, like, it just makes fun of all the people who film in landscape. See, pictures... I don't mind pictures in landscape. Like, that makes sense. Don't film a video in land Or don't... Oh, I mean, like, portrait. Portrait, yeah. Portrait, like, for pictures, that makes complete sense. Whatever. Or even if you just want to take a video for yourself. Like, oh, I'm at my grandma's birthday party. I want to have this video on my phone so I can go back and, you know, memories and stuff. Yeah. That's fine. But if you're planning on uploading something online, please shoot it... Landscape. Landscape. <sighs> that, really yeah. gen- that genuinely pisses me off. That's especially, like... That's like when I watch, like, full-screen <laughs> movies. Like, it used, to, it used to not bother me, but now I absolutely hate it. Pop filter. <laughs> <laughs> now I absolutely no, hate, actually, like, full-screen movies. Nah. Like, full-screen DVD be? movies should not exist. If you get annoyed by black bars, fuck you. Somewhere right here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, fuck off. Yeah. That's so, really genuinely annoying. No, stop. We're not... <laughs> we don't need a fake little pop filter. <laughs> so... Let's go get, like, a dead cat. No, oh my god! And put that, like, right next to it. What the hell? <laughs> no, he's not talking about a real dead cat. He's talking about, the, you know, the fluff the thing. Boom the microphone. Yeah. Like cat. the one I brought? Yeah. yeah. The dead cat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, for a second, I'm like, <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> how would that even help with pop filter? How would that work as a pop filter? Yeah. You understand now, though. I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, I, like and then, <laughs> you see he's walk out the front door and slides against it. All so, I, like, the thing with the, like, the video quality, like, like, if the camera's not, like, super good quality, like, I'm completely fine with that. The world goes round and round. Like, I'm completely fine with someone not having, like, HD camera. Yeah. Like, like, lots of, like, lots of really cool YouTubers that I like even started off, like, some of them start off with pretty well-made stuff. One of the quality. big, one of the biggest YouTubers. Stop throwing shit! One of the biggest YouTubers, which is, uh, uh, what the fuck, what? How am I forgetting yeah, I've never heard of who, what the fuck Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Oh. It's like, <laughs> what are you it's talking like, about? Hold on. It's like her dog's name. Jenna Marbles. It's, yeah. Jenna and like her dog's name is Marbles. So she like Jenna Marbles. What about but, Orange? Shut up. Oh, <laughs> oh. No. Don't even, don't even say the name. If he says the name, censor it. Because we're not talking about Orange or that. Or at all. that. That's so, a so. I thought he was making fun of it. And then all of a sudden. And then you just like. Really I'm hard. sure it is fake. But I'm like. You think you think it's gonna be like funny, and then you start watching. You're like, oh, this, is... this like why even upload this? This, isn't this even... is just unless you do it to creep people out. Then good job. Or if you're doing it to like update your weird fan base that you have. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about it anymore. Okay. So like Jenna Marbles, she started uh, at least she at least started on iPhone, and I know I Justine uses iPhone for stuff. Mm-hmm. And like I'm pretty sure they they still do vlogs on their iPhone. Jenna Marbles does. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I Justine does too. But uh, yeah, like. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's gonna work. Whatever. So, yeah, they're, they're, the cameras and like music qualities or sound quality is good enough for some things, but it's just like not. You can't. You can't have just like audio where you like you can't stand listening to it. I need to show you a video about um cameras later. So yeah, like, like I feel like if the if the quality of the like the actual like look and sound is like. Decent enough where it doesn't bother me. Which is one of the reasons why we need new art. Yeah. And that's one of the things we've been pushing towards. But Jamie says that he really needs a tablet for that. A well, I, 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 if I could draw something and then I don't have a scanner. Like a scanner, if I could just scan the image, okay, the image, fine. The oh, image you, my iPad. Hold on. The image you have right now is completely fine. Like it looks good. It looks like it would have been done with a scanner. Just go into paint with it. Whiten the background more and ink it in. No, you know what the thing is? What? Like, the, I, I look at the picture and, like, the picture is, like, the, the quality is, like, okay. And, like, I take it and I do whiten it, but when, when I upload it to YouTube, like, it gives it a color. It darkens it? It, it tinges it cream. When I, like when I When I have it on my, on my video editor, it comes out white, like how it should look. And it's not blurry. It's pretty crystal clear. And then when I upload it to YouTube, it, like... 
<laughs> the color it just ends up creamy, cut, creamy looking, like darker. It's not white, and it, it gets fuzzy. That's weird. When I upload it to YouTube, even though my editor, which isn't like it's just a crappy editor. Do you upload in HD? Um, yeah. Hmm. Like the the size is pretty big. Hmm. That's weird. So like I don't know. Wait. Sorry. Like that's what I do. Um, if you notice in some of them where uh, I'll put up a picture, I'll I'll look up really big like high. What are you doing? Like, if, yeah. if you notice, like, it's, I noticed this a lot in the, uh, in the Cornero Trilogy video and in the oh. Gorillas video, and it really annoys me. Um, I use really large quality pictures, so they look good. And then when they upload to videos, they, like, pixelize a lot. They blur yeah. out really badly. Why and I don't know why. It might be your editor. Like, your but editor's... I've watched it exported, like, like, because I went back and I'm like, oh, does it look really bad? I watched the exported video, like, on full screen. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. It looks pretty clear. And it's just uploading why, it to why YouTube. Not, like, why not just why, why not make it bigger? Because when it shrinks, bro, it's gonna well, it's pretty big. A little bit. I get like wall. I get like, uh, like wall screen quality, like wall screen size photos, or at least I try to. Mm -hmm. And like, like I guess like making an image that big and it's making it on a smaller screen would have some effect on it. Yeah. But like on my editor to come out pretty clear, and mm -hmm. on my computer, like the video itself is pretty clear. See, there's this thing that I like. Uh, um, I'm. I'm currently learning some programming. I'm learning uh, HTML5 right now. No, not 5. What the fuck? Wait, is it 5 that I'm... I don't know. Fuck. HTML. HTML. But I'm using Web Express Expression 4. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I like about that is you can... Imp you, one, when you import a photo and then rescale it, you, there's a little tab at the bottom. If you click it, and then there's an option to um, resample picture to fit scale mm -hmm. and like when you do it it clears it up so good well and i'm just like what this is why doesn't why don't things have this in everything like just you, automatically like you it, would think no one would want a low quality picture yeah for real like if you could resample a picture in like ms paint that'd be great then again it is ms paint yeah like which is why like you don't like apple products i don't really like apple products but which okay, is why I, I would be I, I, one of those one of the things Apple products, since they are so simple, they tend to have, like, higher quality entry points. Like, entering into, like, any kind of production at all. Not, not, not even video production, just production of any form in general. It's like your entry level stuff is going to be higher quality. But if you want something that's powerful enough to take you, like, further than that... Something much more, like... You're obviously, it would be PC. complicated, but it gives you way more options. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, like, that's just an opinion of mine, a lot of people's. What about, what about, what? Can, can I understand, I, like, I, I understand and don't understand the hate for, like, Apple. Like, I can I understand the hate, but I also, like, but why do you necessarily hate Apple? I don't hate Apple. Like, Apple, I, I personally think Apple's, like, they're innovative, baby. Change the world. <laughs> you just have to throw that in there. Yeah. So they're they're innovative, and like that's the thing I like about them. And like they have all these smart ideas. It's just like PCs are more usable. Yeah. Or not not more usable. They're more. They have more functionalities. See, that's the thing with me. Like, which is why I would consider buying like maybe a MacBook. A MacBook. A MacBook. Why do I add R's R's to shit? I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy a MacBook. Don't buy a MacBook. Buy a Mac. A Mac? Uh, a Big Mac. No. What, what are they called? <laughs> I'll just make a Big Mac. Yeah, make a Big Mac. <laughs> no, buy, buy a... Um, what are they called? Like the towers. Oh, Mac. No, but they're called something. Macintoshers? No. Okay, I don't know. Apple One? No. <laughs> yes, buy an Apple One. No, don't do that. I can edit so hardcore on that. No, <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Well, I really do want. I, I do Let's want an do Apple this. three though. An Apple. Th those things look cool. Yeah. They're they're like. I've noticed this thing. Put okay. an Apple three up on the. Sure, there it is. Old it, it looks awesome. I, <laughs> all technology looks more futuristic. I, I had a conversation with my girlfriend yesterday, and she made me feel like I have a weird relationship with hipsterism. Like sometimes I like it, and like well, parts of it I like, and parts of it I hate. And then um, uh, yesterday I was FaceTiming with my girlfriend, and she, and she said that I looked like a hipster because I was wearing a Hawaiian shirt and like these like thin like dark blue pants and like these old shoes like everyone keeps asking me where I bought them and how much they were and I was just like I think these like used to belong to my grandpa yeah when he was a kid yeah oh my gosh so I just had those because I, I just I think they look nice and she called me a hipster and I'm like no and then she told me what I was wearing and then she's like is that like what is that in the background is that like an old keyboard I'm like no it's a 
Hades type fighter. And then, like, <laughs> I have a weird fast, like... I have a weird fascination for vintage stuff, too. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Which also, like, it's like she's she told me that. She's like, that's pretty hipsterish, dude. And I'm like, don't tell me that. Hipsters... <laughs> see, like, the whole hipster thing, like, vintage stuff, I feel like that's kind of become a hipster thing because like people who like vintage stuff they like are proud that they like something that came from an era that they necessarily weren't a part of and that they can relate to that kind of thing because like that's just something they find so cool and fascinating and they can relate with older people but like which is like a reason like retro gaming and that's like a, yeah i love retro gaming like <laughs> that sounds hipsterish i really do like i my first console i was born in 96 and i we i think we got this in 98 it was a uh, Super Nintendo, and so my first game was Super Mario World, and that game was so fun to me, and, like, that's what introduced me to gaming, and then, like, later, I started, uh, like, I think, I can't remember how, how the jump happened, or how I even figured out about this, I figured out there was a thing called a PS2 coming out, and, like, this was, I like, mean, you were in the 2000s. Yeah, the only... It wasn't that hard to find out, there was a thing called PlayStation 2. Yeah, so, like, the thing I had was the SNES at in texas and then i also had a playstation one you lived in texas no 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 my dad lived in texas oh at the point whenever we had the snes at least well he still does he's he's lived in texas since i was born no not since i was born since a little bit after me being born because we lived there for a bit and then we moved back because my parents got a divorce but um so like they uh he had we had an SNES there, and then we had a PlayStation. I don't remember when we got the PlayStation One, but we had a PlayStation One at our house in Oklahoma, and like that was awesome. I remember one of my favorite games, which I can't seem to find, is this like Super Smash Bros. style Digimon game, and like there were levels that like flipped, and there was like. Where, it, is it similar to those games that came out like in 2006 for some reason called the uh, Digimon like Dusk and Dawn? I don't even know. I really don't. I that was like a, like my, a... My favorite game, I can't remember what it's called, though. It's the PS2. It was on the PS2, but it, it was like a whole bunch of people. ATV but... Afro Fury 2? No. It, it was like a whole Twisted bunch of metal. people, but they had sure. like magical powers. I thought they'll freaking swing a sword and shit. Was it... And, uh, and, and like a big old red blade would come out across was it the entire War- map. Was it Samurai Warriors? I don't know, man. There's this really cool game that I couldn't find for a while. I mean, like, any movement, any sword b- movement, like, um... The, like a girl would have like a freaking just chunk fireballs at you. I mean, like I, it's, a, it's a 3D world. That might bro. be Samurai Wars. I remember that was, was. It was amazing. I remember I, I went, can't find it. I man. went to my cousin's house who lived in Mexico and he had this PlayStation. He had the, uh, his PlayStation 2 and he had this cool game. And I didn't. I never, for like years, I couldn't find out what it was because I didn't even know the name. And I would type in stuff like online, like this is the type of gameplay it was. And like just none of it would be. But not only. Okay, the game. The series was Dynasty Warriors. Or not Dynasty Warriors. Samurai Warriors. Um, not only was it a Samurai Warriors, not only it was it was also a sequel. Not only was it a sequel, it was the third sequel. Not only was it the third sequel, it was the third sequel spin-off. Yeah. So the game I played was Samurai Legends Three Extreme Legends or Samurai Warriors Three Extreme Legends. That's like um, with Street Fighter and stuff. Like you can never like figure out if you've played all the games. Well, I, you probably could. Like there's some like there's lists of. Like all the we got the internet now. Yeah, we've got the internet now, and that helps a lot. But like, there's like Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter Two, Street Fighter Two, Super Street Fighter Two Turbo Edition, Street Fighter Two Thousand Ten. Like, like, there's like all these like Street Fighter Two Thousand Ten. I remember. Okay, on the 3ds, on the 3ds, there's Super Street Fighter Four Turbo 3D. And Four is a pretty fun game. Yeah, like, like, it's just like what. Uh, well, I'm not sure if they actually released a turbo version. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they have. But, like, it's just, like, they, there's so many derivatives of each one that it's just, like... It's really hard. It's kind of hard to keep up with, you know? I played the first... Have you played the first Street Fighter? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't like it. An arcade? No, an arcade. You haven't played the arcade? I played, game? like, a port. I'm like, online. No. I'm not... The first Street Fighter might not have been in the arcade. I know it's just called Street Fighter. I'm pretty sure the first Street Fighter was in an arcade. Street Fighter 2 was the one that got really popular. Street Fighter 2 was the one that got super popular in arcades. But, like, yeah. So, if finding classic games like that can be, like, a real hassle. Like, I don't know. Like, we were talking, like, the hipsterish thing. Like, I think the, the thing that I always use as an excuse to differentiate, like, to excuse like my things that I hard. think that might be considered hipsterish is that I have a, I have a well-balanced combination of, like, pride and embarrassment. 
For what? For, like, loving old shit. Like, for owning a bunch of weird Jamaican dub records from yeah. the 70s. Yeah. Like, like an 80s... Uh, 80s well, I don't, I don't, I don't arrogantly writer. show it off. I'm like... I have, like, like yeah, it's, like, really cool music, and I have it on, like, on vinyl, because that's the only place I can find it. And it's like... And then the moment I say, like, yeah, you guys probably have never heard of them. I'm like... Uh, and that's where the embarrassment kicks in. Yeah, yeah. It's just, like... At that point, like, okay, one thing that I... I try not to do it arrogantly. One thing that I'm really proud of is that I've played this game that I've asked a few people and, like, hardly anyone's heard about it except, like, I've played them... It's not a game. It's a game console. And I play, I, I only had a few games on it because it was, like, my stepdad's Neo Geo? system. Turbo no. Graphics no, 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 no. I, I actually didn't play the Neo Geo until I was, like, 10. I've never played the Neo Geo. It's... F- yeah, it's fine. But, um... Cartridges are this big, right? Yeah, like something like that. But like, but like, there's a there's a funny the, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, there's a funny like little clip uh, the AVGN did for one of his um, uh, intro like theme song where he takes a Neo Geo cartridge and he puts it on a on a weight or, or on a scale and it goes up to like a hundred like over a hundred pounds and it cuts the image just like. For those of you who can't see, I mouth the word what the fuck. Yeah, but, <laughs> like so, it's it, the game console is called 3DO, and it's like. Panasonic 3DO? No, no, not Panasonic, but um, um, plumbers don't wear ties on it. Um, it looks like a really big black like v- VHS, sort of. And then the controller is like this weird. I know what the 3DO is. You do? Yeah, I know what it is. All right, cool. Um, and that's not for my own like. AVGN did an episode over it. Oh, really? Yeah, and like the the games come like they're CDs, and they come in these really long boxes. Yeah, like um. And there's a really shitty game on there called Wait, 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 Wait. Ties. Did they come in CDs? Yeah, they did. did yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think they did. What, what was like? Was it called like the Iron Giant or something? That movie? The movie? No. The Iron Giant? No, no, no. Like a game console? No, it was like uh, it was like the uh, one the rival to the VCR. Cassette, what the fuck? Like, Betamax? Betamax? Yeah. The Iron Giant? No, what I the ca- fuck? Well, I, I, kinda, well, I, kinda, I mean. Have you ever seen a, like it's, something that plays it's, Betamax? It's, yeah. a, it's a huge. Yeah. It this is, is a great box. You, but isn't Betamax go, smaller? Is Betamax is smaller. <laughs> Betamax uses smaller tapes. Yeah, and then you would slide in the tape, and then... <laughs> and then here's some switches. There's a button. Betamax. I mean, like, there's a reason I mean, why VH, VHS... You just, you just load a cartridge, right? Yeah. And you just like slowly, slowly slam it down. Slowly down. down. You don't want it to blow And then there's like up, switches. You know? you know how like VHS or VCRs have like channels? Yeah. You that had like switches, switch. yeah. and like to set it to certain things, you have to like, okay, if I wanted to this, like, switch this, switch to like one, and then switch this one to four. That's weird. It's yeah. There's a reason. It, it, it kind of looked like it kind of looked like you were shooting off missiles there for a second. Do you know what a uh, the C, a CED is? I think so. A CED. Okay, imagine like okay, like the, what the Wait, actual a CED, but the like the gigantic motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you. It's like it's like a record player. It's like a record steroids. It's like <laughs> like the if you were to buy a movie on it. It looks like a record, like where the the little <laughs> slips, wait, wait, wait. Like, slips that are records come in. Laser discs? No, no. Laser discs are cool. Yeah. Laser discs. Lots of people know laser discs. Yeah. No, no. You're talking. Okay, okay. You know, you know, like the the sheath, and you pull out a record. You know that That's thing. That's how big those freaking suckers yeah. are. Well, yeah, and they're like. And it's on a giant DVD player. On there, it feels like you have to put that. You have to pull the pull the needle on there and start it up. <laughs> kind of. Oh, okay. So what a, a CD is? Imagine you know the slip. Imagine the slip for uh for a record. You know the cardboard slip. Imagine that, but instead of it opening on top, there's like this little plastic strip across. Yeah. Um, and like the, the player, imagine like a gray VHS and there's like a slit in it where you slide it in. You slide it in. It doesn't go all the way. It goes in maybe like a third of the way. And there's like a switch and you slide it down and like it makes your TV kind of pop in colors and it makes like popping sounds. So it sounds like it's going to blow up and you pull the <laughs> switch down and then you pull it up and then you pull the, like the, sl- the cardboard part out and like... The little, and then now you can see the opening on the inside. So the little plastic, like, strip on the top had something on it, and, like, you would slide into this mechanical beast, and you'd flip it on, and then that's how you would watch the movie. What the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna post a picture of it. There it is, CDs. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Wait, is it CED? Or? I think it's something like that. CED, I think. Oh my gosh. My uncle has one of those. Yeah, they're, they're, really? they're cool. They sound like they're about to, bl- don't they sound like they're about to explode? It goes, yeah. boom, boom. Yeah, like it's like it's violent. Like something violent is happening. Inside. Oh my gosh! We'll like, have to we'll have to quit covering your mouth whenever you talk. Crazy. Okay, it, it, like we'll have to get weird. Footage, we'll have to get footage of that sometime. 
We have to, okay, we have to have a special That's episode where we go, go around to, Mexico, you know to that, flea right? markets and, like, old places and just find weird shit. Wait, okay, you know how, like, <gasps> Rooster oh Teeth... Oh my gosh, we should try to find a CD at the freaking old see, Paris. We could. And try to watch something. We should try, we should try. I know, but, like, yeah, we... De- like, you know how Rooster Teeth does our animated adventures? Like, each week, like, on Wednesday or something, we need to... I chose Wednesday because they upload animated adventures. On, like, Thursday or something, whenever we're not uploading a podcast, we need to upload, like, a little clip of the audio... Uh, playing in the background while we just go like do something and then like we cut the audio out of that video and just overlay the audio of us talking about it and just try to get enough footage to fill out the audio oh like since now we're talking about we're like explaining to you holy shit that okay whoa okay (laughs) you know those things okay that i don't know why that scared me but you know those like party things that like (laughs) yeah and like they it's like a tongue that whips out that's what i thought he was doing with this a second and that scared you and hold on hold on he like went like he like went like that, and I thought it was gonna keep rolling out, and I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck is that?" It's got foam, yo. Okay, it's just so, like a foam. Piece so, of so what you're saying is like, say like where me and Tyler explain to you what a CD is, we could like have that audio running over like maybe a clip of video of us actually showing you a yeah, CD. Yeah, basically. Yeah, like yeah. That's stop. Please don't. No, <laughs> get it away from me. I feel, I feel like this podcast is probably gonna be in first in two parts. Um, probably, yeah. Because the other one is already an hour. This one's at an hour and two minutes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I think we should end this podcast here anyway. It's All a right. good stopping point. Uh, well, uh, well uh, I mean, it's fucking, it's fucking <laughs> Tyler with his phone and shit. I mean, this has been the tip, man. A uh, long-ass tip. Two, two tips. Yeah. Two three tips. Just, I don't know. Th- uh, I actually probably like the long Is it cutting through? Yeah, we're pulling out.